What is going on boys and girls? My name is Adam Lucy and this is my channel Moving Weight Fishing and today we are in beautiful Jupiter, Florida on my parker. We're catching some live bait. We are catching some live sardines. I'm going to give you guys some action of that right now. They're absolutely chewing and there's not a boat in sight. So we're going to set up the GoPro and we're not getting predated. I just took a couple minutes to get the camera set up. Hopefully I don't jinx myself here and we don't catch any bait, but we're about to start marking them here. I'm going to set the GoPro up. I know I've been lacking on the videos, you guys. I have been so, not an excuse, but I've been so busy charter and commercial fishing that I, I really haven't even had a chance to make videos. But we're going to make one here for you guys today. I just put on the R&R &R rig. Here we go. Got them on right there. Chewing. Absolutely chewing. I tell you guys, I can't reel. That is how we do it with the R&R &R rig. Let me tell you what, this R&R &R speaker rig is unreal. It really is. Unreal. And I'm fishing the Pen Slammer DX today. Very nice spinning reel. Just like that, I caught 10 baits in a pole, you guys. Just for a close up, this is a sabiki that I'm using. Everyone always asks, this is the R&R &R hook size five. You guys can read it. That is what I use. Um, today, today where it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't matter, you could drop a goggle eye rig and they eat it. But there's days where I promise you it does and r and R's fluorocarbon speakies make a huge difference. So we're gonna do that a few more times. So I like to pitch my Kaviki too, if you can. And then I kind of jig it on its way down. And sometimes I'll eat it on the way down, sometimes I'll eat it off bottom. And once you kind of get one to go, they start to load on there. Bad mark there, I kind of went past them, I guess. There we go. Oh my god, the whole school. The whole school is tornadoing me, you guys. The whole entire school. I'm strong. Fully strong. Fully strong. Sardinias on the R and R's. And then sometimes you'll get a couple poles like that, or sometimes that's it. And uh, you're out of them and you gotta reset and, and go back on them. But what I'm doing is I'm just driving around the, the rock and I'm looking for the mark of sardines. And uh, there's plenty out here today. It's the middle of the day and they're chewing. Again, this is the Pen Slammer DX on a Pen Carnage three rod. 20 to 40 pounds, seven foot, and I have a a double R and R rig, and then a five ounce lead, dead weight tackle co lead. By the way, check them out if you guys are looking for anyone um, to make you some lead. Let me show you what they look like. That is what they look like. They are badass leads, and he makes them himself, and they're extremely cheap compared to a tackle shop. And that's just the guys on it. Guys, look at this pole. Boys and girls. That's what we're looking for, baby. That is exactly what we are looking for. Now I'm probably gonna have that boat come in here. Terrible time to pull a stringer, but 
Gotta do it to him. Gotta do it to him sometimes, boys and girls. That is three full stringer, three, three full stringers that we pulled in a row there. Didn't lose a single hook or anything. That's when you know uh, the bait fishing is good and there's not a lot of predatorials. FaceTime the red goes. Watch this, watch this. I'm literally gonna set you up charters. Reach, watch this. I'm gonna come through the icing glass. Oh my God, I'm so strong. Watch this. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's the first time I got predator. I call Reed and I get predator. I literally make a phone call to Reed. Standard. Literally didn't get pred puppied once. And then I caught Reach. Oh Reach, I'm strong. I fell. Oh. I have I have fallen. Oh my color. Look at my rock tip. Oh my God, Reed. I got a pull for you guys here. Moral of the story is they are chewing you guys. We're catching them really, really good here. Um, yes, it doesn't look like I have that much bait, but I am bait fishing by myself. I'm getting around 10 adrift, which is pretty good. I'm happy with it. If I had three other guys, I would already be done because they're obviously chewing. Hi, you guys. They are absolutely chewing right now. I'm gonna have to get on the gun for this pull. They're chewing, you guys. They are chewing. And we got some subscribers behind us. Standard. Very, very standard.
like you've never seen before, boys and girls. Oh. Oops. Yeah, why not? I don't, yeah. dude. I'm I'm gonna black out the floor well and just pen them up. Yeah. I, dude, if I had my salt water wash down, I'd put them in the kill box. No. Yeah, why not? I fill that thing up with buckets and I put the salt water wash down there and put a hundred baits in there and run in. Dude, I could. You know how you know how bad I need pen baits for charters. Yeah, you do. All right, real quick, I want to say a huge shout out to r, r Tackle. He sent me these super quick, super sick dip nets. Watch this, you guys. I only want to put a few in there at a time. Oops, I got a lot of bait, so. All right, two swim in there. Look at that. It leaves a, a like plastic lining on the inside. So you scoop water. Look at all the water that stays in the net so they don't lose their scales. Watch, I'll show you again. And they also don't see it, they just swim right into it. You don't even have to like try and scoop. Keeps the baits better when you pen them up and they don't lose as many scales. And what does that equal? It equals happy baits. What does happy baits equal? Happy Adam.